Next, we're going to learn about the epidural space. So step one, draw a single line and then a double line, about two centimetres apart. And then draw the L1 and L2 vertebrae. And then this is the annulus fibrosus. And this is the nucleus pulposus. Next, we're going to add three vertical lines. And in the middle of that, we're going to draw the spinal cord. So the green line represents the spinal cord. And the black lines represent the dura of the spinal cord. Then we're going to draw ligamentum flavum and two spinous processes. So that's ligamentum flavum. And then the spinous processes we draw approximately in line. And then between the spinous processes is interspinous ligament. So then we're going to add in supraspinous, which runs along the edge here. So that's supraspinous ligament. And then we're going to add in the skin. And then under the skin is the subcutaneous tissue. So for an epidural, you're going to imagine what your needle's passing through. So skin, subcutaneous tissue, supraspinatus, which is a bit tougher, interspinous um, ligament, which I find to be either quite spongy or, you know, like sometimes it kind of absorbs the water um, and sometimes it feels a bit firmer. And then you reach ligamentum, which I always think feels quite rubbery and tough. And then you get a give and that's when you have the epidural space. And you can imagine the same thing for a spinal, but then you kind of get a pop at the end and you feel the CSF come out. 